Hey guys, so here I am playing first defense. It's a pretty interesting dynamic uh, defense for black pieces against king spawn. But something is going to happen. My opponent is going to play a sideline that I don't re really remember how to deal with. Is this burned variation? And it's very interesting what happens here. Uh, it's a very tricky and choppy line. My knight is threatened at this point, so. I can capture the takes e5, but that doesn't look so good. Uh, it's still playable. There's a theoretical line with the takes e5, but I almost played. But actually, a knight f d7 is much simpler and also good enough. It's probably the most uh, recommended move at this point, I could say. Um, here I have some pressure in the center, but bishop is good again. And the plan, of course, is to castle, uh, develop very quickly, like knight c6. And also, at some point, I can break on over c5. At this point, I'm playing this move h6, which is not really very strong, because the bishop is actually better on h4 than on g5, and at the same time, I'm weakening my king side. But, well, at this point, I'm, I'm breaking. Uh, that's something I really wanted to do, to open my bishop. His king is in the center. However, I'm losing one pawn. That's something I really missed uh, in the game. But... Something good is like, okay, I'm losing some material, probably two pawns. But my opponent's king is in the center, the position is dynamic, it's open. So even if I have material down, I have activity. And the position is going to be very dangerous, and complicated and unclear. So that's something good for a blitz game. If you're attacking and you have the threats, that's always good in a blitz game. So, well, my rook is threatened. I played bishop d7, objectively white is much better, they have material up, and with perfect play they will be able to defend, but actually the position is still unclear, it's complicated, my, his king is a little more discovered, my pieces are, are better co connected, more coordination among my pieces, so I, ha I was actually happy with the position, I mean, accepting that he's better, but understanding that I have activity, and that's something good for a blitz game. Rook d8 is clear. That was also g5 at this point because the pawn on the 4 defends the knight. So g5 was very interesting. But rook d8 was extremely logical. And here I'm planning g5 again. But I didn't see, see it clear as my knight on f6 is hanging. So I was analyzing g5 but uh, he's taking my knight at the end. Though, so I decided to activate the rook, get the 7th rank. Attack pawns, control squares next to the enemy king. He offers trade, and uh, well, I don't have too many options, so I decided to trade rooks and keep a, a, my pieces grouped, connected, and active. There are some ideas, for example, with knight takes f4 at this point, removing the defender, the base of that knight, where he found the solution. Here I just played a6, making sure I don't lose that pawn, also controlling b5, restricting the enemy knight. I was planning something like queen b4 here, attacking the pawn on b2, attacking the pawn on f4. And at this point my opponent blunders, so this was really good for me. Here I'm going to come back in the game, and this is exactly what I needed. Uh, I come back in the game, I get one piece, and from now on the game is much, much simpler for me. Uh, but that's exactly what happens in situations like this one. He has an extra pawn, but it's not easy to play when there are many threats in a blitz game. So that's why I always recommend, if you're playing blitz, uh, try to get the most active position where you have more threats. Even if you have some, some pawn down, it's probably the right choice. Here I get the extra piece. Also my opponent like traded pieces, so that helps me a little. And it was not too complicated to win after uh, this position. Well, then I can finally trade rooks, play knight d3, attack the bishop, attack the pawn on b2. This is winning the game, and that's why at this point my opponent decided to resign. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, and check out my tutorial about how to play perk defense, where you can learn how to play this interesting, dynamic, and strong defense with black pieces against king's pawn. Thank you. Play the right move. I'll see you in the next.